everyone, welcome to another episode of Moment of Reflection. In today's episode, we're going to talk about spiritual blindness. My name is Ray Pueblo and I post relevant Bible-based content for reflection to encourage viewers to a deeper personal study and understanding of the Word of God. But before we jump into our subject, if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you are notified whenever a new content is uploaded. Now, let's begin our presentation. Spiritual blindness is a serious problem. Spiritual blindness is very difficult to heal because your eyes are physically healthy but you cannot perceive spiritual things. There is a mindset and heart issue in this situation. Many Jews heard and witnessed many miracles of Jesus, but few believed that He is the Messiah. The same thing is happening today. Many Christians read and study about Jesus in the Bible, but they cannot see the way and the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. Spiritual things are spiritually discerned. In 1 Corinthians 2, 14, it says, But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. In Isaiah 6, 9-10, it states, And he said, Go and tell these people, Keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Make the heart of these people dull, and their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand the, with their heart, and return and be healed. Ezekiel 12.2 also states, Son of man, you dwell in the midst of rebellious house, which has eyes but, but does not see, and ears but does not hear, for they are a rebellious house. Spiritual blindness, though very difficult to heal, yet it is not hopeless. In 2 Corinthians 3.16 it says, Nevertheless, when one turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. John 3, 3 also says, Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say unto you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Psalm 119, 18 says, Open my eyes that I may see the wondrous things from your law. John 9, 39, And Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world, that those who do not see may see, and those who see may be blind. Acts 26, 18 says, Open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in Him. In Ephesians 1.18, it also says, The eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of His calling, what are the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. Ephesians 5.8, For once... We were in darkness, but now you are in light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. 1 Peter 2.9 states, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And finally, Revelation 3.18 says, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in fire, that you may be rich, and white garments that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eyes out that you may see. Well friends, this is all we have for today in this short episode of Moment of Reflection. I hope that this episode has brought you something to ponder, think deeper, and reflect from the Word of God. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up and share this video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and see you again in the next episode of MOR, Moment of Reflection. Take care, keep safe, and God bless everyone.